the, the, what they were taking into consideration is the possibility that the Big Bang may be incorrect and that the universe might be larger and older than we think. So, I, I hesitate to ask what pages on the internet you hang out on. <laughs> it was a, like okay. a legit... In the ever-expanding realm of space exploration, a revelation has emerged that carries profound implications for the very understanding of our universe. Famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has brought to light the latest discovery of the James Webb Telescope, an advancement that, according to some, holds the potential to unravel the very essence of our cosmic existence. So join us as we uncover how the latest discovery of the James Webb Telescope could destroy our universe according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. A question that has always intrigued the scientific community is what lies beyond the observable universe. This has remained a mystery for centuries, fueling curiosity and speculation among scientists and enthusiasts alike. However, the James Webb Space Telescope holds the key to unveiling this cosmic mystery. With its powerful lenses peering deeper into space, it has recently made a groundbreaking announcement of what lies at the edge of the observable universe. When we talk about the edge of the universe, it's essential to understand the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe includes everything that we can see, measure, and study from Earth or our space-based telescopes and exploratory probes at the present time. It consists of stars, galaxies, and other celestial objects that are within our observational reach. So, what's the difference between the universe with a capital U and the observable universe? In simple terms, the observable universe is just a small fraction of the entire universe that we can study and comprehend. While the complete size and shape of the entire universe are unknown, there is an estimated diameter of the observable universe, which is around 93 billion light years. But why is the universe so incredibly vast? The answer lies in its origins. The Big Bang Theory tells us that approximately 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was born in a powerful explosion. This explosive event triggered a rapid expansion, and since then, the universe has been expanding at an increasingly faster pace, driven by enigmatic forces like dark energy. As the universe expanded, particles of matter started clustering together due to the force of gravity, forming awe-inspiring structures such as stars, galaxies, and eventually, even planets like our beloved Earth. Over countless years, these cosmic structures grew larger and more intricate, leading to the extraordinary diversity of objects and phenomena that we observe throughout the universe today. Now, the concept of the edge of the universe is a mind-boggling topic that has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and thinkers for ages. We have all sorts of theories about what lies beyond, but the truth remains elusive. However, there are three theories that stand out. The first theory is that the universe goes on forever with no end in sight. This theory is based on the cosmological principle, which states that the universe is isotropic, meaning that it looks roughly the same in every direction. If this principle holds true, it implies that the universe stretches on endlessly without a boundary. The second theory suggests that the universe is finite, but it doesn't have a clear edge, either. This means it's similar to a giant ball, and if you keep going in any direction, you'll eventually loop back to where you started. The third theory is the multiverse theory, which suggests that our universe is just one of many. Imagine a bunch of parallel universes, each with its own set of rules and properties. These universes could be completely separate from each other or somehow connected, so we've talked about concepts surrounding the edge of the universe by looking at diverse theories. Now let's turn our attention to a remarkable tool that holds the potential to shed light on these mysteries, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWS. This incredible telescope allows us to look far back in time and discover unexpected objects from the early days of the cosmos. The JWST, with its advanced capabilities, has enabled astronomers to peer back into the early days of the universe by capturing infrared light. And guess what? they've stumbled upon something unexpected. In a recent study published in the journal Nature, the JWST discovered six massive galaxies that existed between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. Researchers were only expecting to find small, newly formed galaxies, but the JWST caught them by surprise. These galaxies are way larger than anyone ever imagined, challenging what we thought we knew about the early cosmos. 
But that's not all. Scientists also found something mind-boggling. These galaxies are as mature as our 13 billion year old Milky Way galaxy. The mass of stars within each of these objects totals several billion times larger than that of our Sun, according to the research. One of them in particular might be as much as 100 billion times our Sun's mass. For comparison, the Milky Way contains a mass of stars equivalent to roughly 60 billion suns. The discovery of these galaxies helps us estimate the age of the universe to be around 13.8 billion years, which proves our previous models of the universe wrong. Using the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, an international team of astronomers, also made an incredible discovery. They found the oldest and farthest galaxies ever confirmed. These galaxies take us back to a time when the universe was just a fraction of its current age, fewer than 400 million years after the Big Bang. The light from these galaxies reached us more than 13.4 billion years ago, as detected by the telescope. Similar to the early observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope, the initial images captured by the JWST revealed numerous potential galaxies. Now, through meticulous spectroscopic observations, Astronomers have confirmed four of these objects, allowing them not only to study the physical properties of the galaxies, but also to accurately determine their distances using their redshift. The new discoveries focus on four galaxies with redshifts greater than 10. This means they are super far away. The Hubble Space Telescope previously spotted two of these galaxies, and their redshifts were confirmed to be 1038 and 11.58. But the JWST images revealed two even more distant galaxies with redshifts of 1320 and 1263. Redshift 1320 indicates a time period roughly 13.5 billion years ago, revealing ancient cosmic history. In 2015, scientists from 10 different nations formed a partnered project known as JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES, beginning with NERCAM. The JADES program dedicated over 10 days of mission time to observing a small region of the sky, including the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. For over two decades, astronomers have been exploring this region using various large telescopes. By studying the field in nine different infrared wavelength bands, the JADES team made a remarkable discovery. Nearly 100,000 distant galaxies, each billions of light years away as well, as 250 faint galaxies over a period of just three days. Launch it in December 2021 and expected to operate for two decades. Webb is just embarking on its cosmic adventure, surpassing the standards set by its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike, inspiring a wave of scientific enthusiasm. People worldwide are eagerly modifying the telescope's raw data, sharing its breathtaking photos, and gaining fresh perspectives. Following a flawless deployment process, Webb astonished us with its initial photographs in mid-July, granting us an unprecedented view of our universe's myriad aspects. Moreover, the telescope's capabilities enable scientists to gather abundant light from celestial objects such as exoplanets and newborn stars, unveiling their compositions and tracing their trajectories through space. This wealth of data is already unveiling intricate details about the atmospheric compositions of planets located hundreds of light years away from Earth, hinting at their potential habitability. But not just that. By analyzing faint traces of light from the universe's infancy, the James Webb Space Telescope has potentially identified the oldest black hole ever observed. This supermassive black hole, with a mass 9 million times that of the Sun, resides at the core of a young galaxy that formed 570 million years after the birth of the universe. Thanks to Webb's powerful cameras capable of peering back in time to the cosmos's earliest moments, this monumental discovery offers insights into the cosmic dawn, when numerous black holes grew in size over the course of a billion years following the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope employs its mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera to scan the sky, searching for black holes. Its built-in spectrographs then separate the light spectrum into different frequencies, allowing scientists to analyze the data. During their investigations, scientists made a crucial discovery. The heated material surrounding a black hole emitted faint traces of radiation across the universe. By scrutinizing these delicate glimmers from the universe's infancy, they detected an unexpected surge among the frequencies embedded within the light 
providing valuable insights into the cosmic processes at play. The rapid appearance of black holes in our young cosmos remains a mystery. Another brilliant discovery made by the JWST is the existence of exoplanets. Though a few were discovered with the help of the Hubble telescope, JWST has changed the game with its state-of-the-art instruments it's equipped with. Exoplanet HIP 65426b is just one example of this remarkable feat. Webb also captured an image of a far-off Wolf Reyes star, which displayed a unique diffraction pattern. The star, known as WR140, is surrounded by a ripple-like arrangement of concentric rings, giving it an oddly boxy shape. Surprisingly, these distinct ring formations are not imaging artifacts, but actual characteristics of the star. These massive stars are reaching the end of their lifespan and have already released a significant amount of hydrogen into space. The interaction between WR140 and its small companion star molds a cloud of dust into the shape of their neighboring star, resulting in the peculiar shapes of the rings. In the constellation Virgo, the most extensively studied exoplanet outside our solar system orbits a star. This planet, named WASP-39b, resides a staggering 700 light-years away from Earth. It's a scorching gas giant comparable in size to Saturn, orbiting its host star at an astonishingly close distance, roughly eight times nearer than Mercury is to the Sun. Ultimately, Webb was designed to venture to the farthest reaches of the universe, and researchers have confirmed its success in doing so.